What's up, YouTube? It's time for the 2.1 Panacone event, or not event, Panacone story. It's time to continue the, the, the Trailblaze story to finally figure out what the heck happened to Robin, what the heck happened to Firefly, what's going on with Acheron, and I am, I am scared, actually. I think I'm more scared than anything. All right, all right, let's, let's start. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <sighs> Do I have a pit in my... Oh, hey, Aventurin. Is Robin still in the bathtub? Or did we... Wait, okay, for story reason, I want Stell on my team instead of Huo Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Oh, this is gonna be Robin. Are we just gonna flash to Robin being dead in a pool right now? Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. Oh, no. The famous singer, Robin. But how is that possible? Could Robin actually... You're telling me she's been in this pool for seven weeks? Well, first of all... Can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. Hmm. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. Oh! The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Okay. Stella's so pretty. Do you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? What is going on? Yeah, the lore drop. So IPC owns Garden of Recollection? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person oh, they own light cones. Will be forcibly okay. awakened and safely returned to reality. Back to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Okay, the, they put death in quotation marks, like Robin's not dead. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Wow, they're not even, like, trying to be subtle that she's an emanator. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Do you guys think that Acheron, like, when she regains her memories, she's gonna be like, my name is Raiden May. This is really, this is hard to take in. That's just one side of the story. If that's the case, I can't trust anyone. I'm gonna go with, um, I can't trust anyone because we deadass can't trust anyone here. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Yeah, that's why we can't trust anybody. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Who's to say there isn't an oh my even God. deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Oh my God, her voice. I don't trust you either, Black Swan. <laughs> I don't 
don't trust anybody, but I'd rather be betrayed by her than I than like anyone else. Memo keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one, and there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the garden, and there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. Oh! I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for Okay, work. but like, why? Why I'm do you want to work with the Astral Express? The IPC. You catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. Oh! This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. Yeah, wow. IPC wants to buy the planet. You surprise, have surprise. no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble... And but people are gonna notice a pop star Nobody dead. Ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. What kind of help? I've got something on right now. I can't trust you. Oh, oh I mean, like, I can't trust him. I mean, like, but I like adventure. <laughs> I've got something on right now. What kind of- I, what kind of help? I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> while also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Okay, Aventurin, don't act like you actually care about justice for Robin, because I know you don't, but I would like justice for Robin. Truly a once-in-a-blue-moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family, so they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you'd call a win-win situation. Hmm... You want to take advantage of the family's trust in us. The Nameless would never associate with the IPC. Uh, uh, Topaz. Uh, <coughs> Topaz. <coughs> A decision like this is way above my pay grade. I think that's the right answer. But um, the Nameless would never associate with the IPC. I dissociate with Topaz. I mean, yeah, I mean, look at her. Dude, she's hot. Don't worry, you just head back and talk things over with your companions. I don't trust that him. The navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. Are you bribing so us, sir? Long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? God, I love it when Stell gets to speak. Hey, he gave us 50k credits? Oh my god, Aventurin. Actually, yeah, maybe we should just team up with you. So I can keep getting credits for free. On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurin is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. 
He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death. Mm, Try and that little menace. Move his way <gasps> that little menace. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. The Nameless cannot turn a blind eye to evil. For Firefly's sake, we must get to the bottom of all of this. Playing it safe seems to be the smarter move. Can I toss a die and let it decide for me? Well. Well. Surely we should leave things to fate, right? I, I feel like we should leave it to fate. Leaving it up to fate. It's just how that gambler thinks. Oh, oh, I don't Oh, I, I felt like that was a negative interaction. Oh, I felt like I just hit a negative interaction. I'm so sorry, Black Swan. I didn't mean to do that. I, I, I actually meant, I, I misclicked. I, I, I misclicked. I actually meant the Firefly option. Anyway, be careful out there. Oh, no. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. Yes, ma'am. As for the other questions... Did death kill Robin? Do you think this is connected to Acheron? Okay, I can, I can click all of these. I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Yeah, and you did nothing to stop it the second time around. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. But without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Why? Because she's yours? Have you noticed anything else unusual? Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up. Making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or, everything has been planned out and executed by someone. The Watchmaker, mayhaps? If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, Why is this bolded then a like this? celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. Why are these smug- why are- why are- why is the font like this? This is- this is strange- this is- this is strange and unusual font, and I don't know how I feel about this. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make a conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Thanks, Black Swan. She leads you through the chaotic dreamscape. Come, this way. <laughs> it's a short walk. Don't get lost. Why did she say, come, pause? Why did she say it like that? Hey. Oh, I see a chest over there. Wait, I never got that chest. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Black Swan. I'll be right there. Be right there, Queen. One second. Hold on. Hold on. I need the chest. Will of preservation. Wrong button. All right, coming back. I'm coming back. Sorry about the wait. Sorry for the hold up. You Oh, that's Sam's, uh, business. Okay. Da, 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 da. Wait, there's a great chest? No, there's not. Oh, you mean Black Swan's chest. This way. This is where we part ways. All of no, this don't is leave life. me. I have abandonment issues. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened. 
Though and it won't to. fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't Listen be afraid. Listen to your heart. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths. And ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. Y yeah? Black Swan gently touches the root of your ear, leaving a cool sensation. There you go. A small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. Miss Ma'am? Miss, Miss Ma'am? I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Aww. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> Can you imagine saying that's it? She touch she caresses your ear and you say that's it? Hell no. Hell no. I'm gonna say yes, thank you, ma'am. Again, please. Then I have something private to take care of regarding that galaxy ranger. Private? Let's leave things there, shall we? Private? What? What are you guys gonna do? Kiss? What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. I miss you already. I miss her. <laughs> I'm so sorry, March. March 7th, I'm so sorry. I, I apologize. I promise I haven't been doing anything. I, she she touched me. I didn't, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I'm a victim. I didn't do anything. I, 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 I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, March. I promise. I was just, I was just getting a great chest, you know? Baby girl, are you still at the hotel in the dreamscape? Baby girl, baby girl. She's so cute. Dude, March is so cute. Have you run into trouble? We got separated in the memory zone, but baby girl is with the memo keeper. I feel so antsy. Help! March, stay calm. Do I need to get off the express and help? <laughs> Don, Hung. Don Hung is chilling on the couch right now, you guys. He is, he is, he's in his pajamas, eating popcorn, watching a movie. He is relaxing and living his best life. And then his phone just keeps blowing up because like everyone's texting the group chat. Not at the moment. Sure, just let me know if you need me. The Reverie Hotel in the real world is very calm. Not much is happening. I'm done. Where are you? I'm done. Oh, she's so cute. March is so cute. That lady didn't do anything bad, did she? Um. Oh, he may go. Oh. Oh, he may go. I'm sorry about what happened to Firefly. The scene has been cord cord cordoned cordoned off by the family. We're we're wrapped up. We're wrapping up negotiations with some family delegates. Let's meet somewhere near Clocky Statue later. Okay. A family rep. Is Himiko okay? Ooh. All right. Let's go. Ba 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 ba. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, I see a chest down there. Okay. Oh, didn't we have a date here with Firefly? Everywhere I go, it reminds me of her. Okay. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Okay, I kind of like that they're like showing a little hint at like Stell's mourning process. Some time ago, deep in the memory zone. Wait, what's going on? Oh my god. That blade now. Oh my god. Do you still dream, Hunter? Of those slain by your hand? What's good? 
What? Days. No, finish it. Oh, oh, Everflame Mage. Are we seeing? <sighs> it appears the outcome has already been determined. What is going? The amount of lore that we're getting right now? As are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind. And then go. Oh! Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger. You'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never. Um, actually, it's Nihility. We come from the fire and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes from the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put okay, Lana Del Rey. the profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Um, I just want to say, like, you're you're not that special. I feel like most most creatures are born to die. Like I, I feel like everything dies at some point, you know. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young. I don't believe. That. You guys, he's stalling because he doesn't want to die. But my flames are. And time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. You. I do, yeah, I do like that he cares about his kids. Like, honestly, the bare minimum, but so much better than 90% of fathers in video games. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. Emanator. <sighs> you cannot hide your true identity. Oh shit. Draw that sword. Oh, the choose is uh, bolded. We shall indeed. Bound to fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. Okay. All right. I accept. What are you ex I did he ask a question or did he ask for something in in all of his dialogue? Did, did I miss something? You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. Battle to death. May this flame okay. Illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. Um Duke Inferno, I know you're about to die, but I concur. She, in fact, does not have a bottomless dream because she found Black Swan. She found her bottom in the dreamscape. So, Erm, um, you're a little wrong, but it's fine. A bottomless dream. 
Yeah. <laughs> See, She's, she agrees with me. She found her bottom, so she's no longer bottomless. This blade remains in its scabbard, not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose. Oh. But perhaps out of reciprocity. Reciprocity. She says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of the sword. I'll reveal the truth to you. Oh my god, yes. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. Please say finality. Please say finality. I know you're gonna say nihility, but please say finality. Please say finality. I I I know I know she's gonna say I know she's gonna say nihility, but please. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Say the path! Say the path! Guiding you back to the waking world. Oh, oh, go back to animation. I still see them in my dreams. <gasps> Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. And you're no different. Disguise. Disguise. It's, it's Firefly. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... Why? <sighs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know. Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. I really thought Sam was about to say, you know, the Muffin Man. I, I just, I really thought it was going to go there for a second. Why My does she know about the script? script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Oh my god, he has a little, um, the little triangle, the little Zelda triangles on him. The Triforce? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. Oh, shit. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What? reason would you have for doing that i tend to forget things which is why rather than memories i'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what i normally wouldn't otherwise mm. i know who is inside that <gasps> say it say the name you know i know what you are <gasps> how about it Yes, please, please take off the armor. Do it, do it, please say it. Oh my God, oh my God. I, this is so early on. I thought this was gonna be like the climax. It's not yet time. It is time. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. Sam, just take off the armor. If your goal is the watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside oh. the dreamscape. Oh? Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. Oh my god, your little soft spot for Stell? Yeah, we know. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next then? The trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. 
No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I don't like... I don't like the... Um, that Elio wants all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. All, all includes Don Hong. All also includes Himeko. I don't like that. I don't like that specifically all. It's just, I, I don't, it's not, that's not something I am, I am a particular fan of. I just think Himeko should be on the train. Personally, respectfully, humbly, I, I believe Himeko should just stay on the train. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. Why does this sound so familiar? Why does this line sound so... Is it Duke Inferno's line? Okay, that's why it sounds familiar. That's it. He just said it. Okay, that's why it sounds familiar. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? Why is the eye in red? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Why is the eye red? Um... Um. Um. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. Damn, get wrecked. I knew it. Aww. Hang on. I don't. You don't? Don't. What? Your first question was, do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? I don't. Never have. The hell? <laughs> I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light and to burn to keep on burning until I turn to ash. Holy shit. So I really envy you. The voice acting on Sam is insane. And you're already living in the waking world. Just like Firefly. Hmm. Hmm. I love how we got to see scenes where. Oh, hello, everyone. Miss Firefly from Black Swan. Oh. We never expected Miss Robin to. Oh. I do really like though how we got to see scenes that we weren't actually present for. I thought that was. I thought that was really nice. I like that narratively, so we can get more context. Oh, I'm sorry. That I couldn't be with you then. Oh, here we go. Reality cruises on in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Look how sad March looks. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed, we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put, in reference to Miss Firefly. Hmm. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. 
The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Henneconi's going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from oh outside. Oh my god, I love that this is turning into a the murder Germany mystery. The festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC mm. envoy. He really is up to no good. Aventurin is on guard against Acheron. Hmm. Indeed. He was particularly concerned about that galaxy ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Bingo! Trust nobody in Pentacone because everyone's a liar. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool, spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? As I see things... The family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. Mm -hmm. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood... I just feel like Astral Express gets such a pass for being nameless. Like, they just like immediately have like plus five charisma to like everything. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that aventurine... Well... I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. Oh my god, the adults are talking. He played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. She can't say his name without sounding like she hates him. As far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. Okay, so we're playing both sides right now, basically. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. And I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. <laughs> She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Aww. Marge! Wait! Oh, wait! Marge! Okay, but girly pop, you, you're next to get stabbed. It's your turn to get stabbed. Just saying. It's fine. Let's focus on the big picture for now. It's fine. I got a lot out of him too. It's cool. You can bully me whenever. <laughs> it's cool. You can bully me forever. Whenever. They wrote that for me. You guys, I want to. I want to point that out. They they put this 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 option for me. so silly. She's so silly. They're so silly. No, I can't accept this. Uh, you don't want to bully me? Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Yeah. Then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. We'll collaborate. 
Always open to pull for your game account. What is he, a streamer? He gave us a thousand credits? That's it. I'm going with that's it. That's it? This doesn't seem like much. Give me another 100k, rich boy. Oops, I pressed send too early. <laughs> Okay, 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 seriously, seriously, okay, time, time to go seriously. Guys, make sure you use him for money, okay? Just as I anticipated, the family is going to sweep Robin's case under the rug for as long as they can, so her case is only a secret between us. But the other case, that depends on what excuses they have prepared for you guys. I'll take my leave for now, and I look forward to out, uh, outstanding performance from you guys. Looks like eventually- 200k credits. Let's tell everyone about it. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, Himeko. Avengerine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got- Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, perhaps he's going for the hotel? An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Mm, Pinnacone's guests yeah. include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. Mm. He's definitely going for the family, and it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Pinnacone. Bro, this is like Yapakoni. to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Akron? Venturine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this Galaxy Ranger... We know hardly anything about her. And can't rush to any conclusions. Mm hmm Hmm. I was also considering this possibility. Especially... Because he respects you so much and has such I do find it sus that so many people Perhaps are after us also unsure of when we've only been on the express for such a little amount of time. And also, like, we don't remember anything. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, He's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. That rhymed. I feel like that rhymed. Uh, we're a walking nuke. I mean, yeah, but I don't know. I just feel like they all like really like us. Aventurine said something that concerns me. Uh huh. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him- Oh my god, well, our level-headed king. But why, though? Does Aventurine have any other plans? He's bluffing. Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. Hmm. However, I asked Don Hong back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? I mean, she's a little airheaded. She's a very gentle woman. She's a very mysterious woman. She's a very powerful woman. Weird. I can't seem to remember. I... I mean, yeah, she's hot. I kind of want to go with gentle. I... I, I kind of want to go with gentle. Um... Um... This is, this is a just Monica moment. This is a just Monica moment. Weird, I can't seem to remember. Dude! 
What? That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. What? They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. Excuse me. Um, I wasn't expecting that at all. I I actually was not expecting that. Where's March? Where's March? Oh, we're going to the spot me and Firefly were at. I feel like we're about to have a moment with March. This feels a little romantic, you know? Let me, let me take this thing I never took. Hey, March. I definitely wasn't here with another woman like a few days ago. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. But everything's just some horrible prank. Oh. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. Oh, baby! Do you think the family's behind all of this? We'll restore all the dreams back to normal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her opinion on the family. No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just... Oh my god, March. I feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. I thought she likes juice. Ah, <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Wait, I thought March was more of a juice girly pop. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. The Mikko, hmm. what do you think? Among our current clues, Among us. the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Okay. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Huh? get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Aww. Oh well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. It's Himeko's turn with the kids. It's her weekend, you know? Yeah, Himeko feels particularly sinister right now. Hmm. Oh god, what's going on with Welt? Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Um... Oh my god! Oh, wait, 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 wait! I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. What? Bro! Dude, dude! Well, in Acheron, like, immediately interacting? Yeah, I know, he's, he's definitely staring because she looks like May. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my <laughs> name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe the you've met my colleagues. I'm going insane right now. I'm I'm actually going insane right now. Well. Does it ring a bell? Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? I already do, Miss Acheron. 
You're a prominent figure in Tony. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm going insane right now. I'm going insane right now. What are they saying about me? Some claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Peniconi. I don't trust that. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic pathstrider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Oh, shit! Dude! Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. Oh, oh dear, she knows! So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, Brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Please say you're right in May. Please say you're right in May. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Say the words. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old final request. The final request? Final lesson? I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. Okay, we knew this. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Okay, we knew this. Black Swan was like, she's here for the Watchmaker's legacy. That much is obvious. We knew that already. Can you say your name? Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? Come on. Come on, please. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a stellar on board. I mean, listen, she's our baby, Cell's our baby. Is she okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust. Oh, Akron cares much about us. Willing to reveal. I've run around many different Peniconi dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize. The secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. Oh, yeah, because of Misha's grandfather. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. So Aventurin wants us to trust him, the family wants us to trust them, and now Akron wants us to trust her? Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion. Mr. Yang! Mr. Yang! Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No, four cups. Why is wake the heck up bolded? Do they learn the bold? Did they learn how to how to do the bold in this game and now they just keep using it? It's like when they learned how to cry and then like, everyone has to cry every patch. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Huh?
Oh my god, my heart feels so happy seeing those two characters interact. I've been watching her closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. I've been watching you closely now. <laughs> Tonight, I initiate our first engagement. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. What is going on? The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. Wait, why are they in a hotel room together? It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You guys. Black Swan. Seduced Acheron. Did the tango with Acheron. Went back to the hotel room with Acheron. Just to confirm some information. But I feel like this was unnecessary. This felt a little unnecessary for her to, to do just to get some information. Just saying. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people. Other things. I know much. And I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang... That band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. Oh my gosh, she's so hot. Oh? Oh? Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met. Okay, unironically, wait, I, I feel kind of bad. Duke Inferno was kind of a good dad. I just feel like he shouldn't have died. Like, I, I'm kind of a little upset he got off screen now. Like, he, he kind of just loves his kids and he just wants to be recognized by, like, his Eon. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... Oh, please let us hear Constance. Constantine? Wait, what's her name? Merely wishing for undisturbed rest away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your right of passage. She won't be necessary. I That's Katarina. When have thou, on the path of destruction, feared death? Okay, that's Akash. The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. You should go all out on me. Oh, oh, we're going in. We're going in. Oh, what happened? What happened? That's what I asked. The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact. And that's how it should have gone. But along the way... Oh, God. It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Yeah, who's erasing her memories? Who are you? 
Who are you? It's... It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Is Did this constant? Of recollection? Or the cremators? My name is Constant. Oh, let's go! A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed <laughs> to meet a telecone and spend it. <laughs> Unforgettable time together. Unforgettable? Unforgettable? Black Swan is just having a lot of unforgettable, unforgettable moments with a lot of lovely ladies. But that seems unrealistic. Dahlia's not welcome on the banquet star, and I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you. I know what you're looking for. I know what you are. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable memories. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. A phone. Wanna listen in? At this moment on the other side. I love this playing around with narratives. I I love this. I love how they're playing with narratives. They're showing us different things in different orders as well. Like, I I love how they're doing this. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Yeah, we're getting adventure in POV now. Like we're getting everyone's point of view. Like this is like we're getting little pieces of the puzzle, and I think at the end it's all going to come together and it's going to blow our minds. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. This is Aventurin's planet, right? Sigonia? Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Mmm. Sigonia. <gasps> Is that baby adventuring? Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. Um. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gaiathra Triclops. If thou can hear me, what is going on? Please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. Oh, shit. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat 
and the sound of falling rain. Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Oh, it's raining. Mommy! Mommy! Um, a baby this size does not, does not speak. Mommy! The rain! It's raining! Raining? <sighs> raining! <laughs> it's raining! It's true! Those outwilders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Oh god, I feel like someone's about to die. Gyathra uh, Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gayathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. So I get from the eons. A gift from them. To Avgen. <gasps> My boy. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three Guys, times. What is going on? Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed well that's a little little sussy you know <laughs> welcome to this sad world kakavasha kakavasha child blessed by the gayathra kakavasha Time to wake up, gambler. <laughs> Ratio has, has is here. Oh, oh heavens! <laughs> I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. Was it sugar-free? Oh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Oh? Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as he if everything He tested it? There. That's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details. Firefly! Just, but it was a stowaway. Castaway. Two murder cases? We are <laughs> castaway. I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. This murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. 
Uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin Stannon was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited God. repertoire of tricks so soon? Rishi is such a little shit, you guys. Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Find a mute as a friend? Hmm. Also, they really love the little bold feature. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather... That's why she sounded weird! That's why she sounded off! So I wasn't imagining things. It wasn't just weird audio mixing. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. Yeah, they don't want you to. But Stay away from her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. See, I don't... Why Why before your eyes? Would you kill her? What A was complete this? and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, mm. in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However... For the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a manner Infin more befitting the vernacular <laughs> of Panacone, you're dreaming. <laughs> oh, Ratio thinks he's so funny. Ratio, he, he, he thinks he's such a funny guy. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. Oh? That man wants to see you again. Sunday? Who? Oh. Sunday. Oh, I'm so good. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. Batman's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Oh, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. God, I love getting all these perspectives. We're here. The Dewlite Pavilion is the chest. Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress? <laughs> oh, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion normally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? <laughs> Who's to say I won't sell you out? <laughs> we'll see. 
When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Why are they flirting? Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. This side of paradise. As the story unfolds, you will have the chance to progress the story from other characters' POVs. When entering a character's POV for the first time, that character will automatically be placed first in your team. You can check Fate Atlas interface to see which character's POV, uh, which character's POV an ongoing mission or completed mission is on. That is so cool. If you need to change your POV to continue the story, you can select here to enter Fate's uh, ensemble uh, for more detail. Okay, yeah. That is so cool. Oh! This is such a cool concept. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. <laughs> hey, Hendrik. Hey, you two. That's a place of business. No entry. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. Suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my... Full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. Right, and as huh? I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. <laughs> what? Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> It seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Oh my god, Ratio, shut up when you're in someone else's territory. He's so silly. Ooh. No, oh, I want to get the chest first. Dead end. The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. What if it's like one of those rooms where you can't get out unless you kiss? I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these nightingale statues. There's a lot of are the those. What kind of bird is of the that? Statues can be controlled. Are those robins? You guys, is Sunday a Ciscon? On the previous occasion. An attendant named Kona had gone Nightingales? to the okay. to verify something Never mind then. setting the statue. I'm just I was just asking if he was positions. a Siskon. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. <laughs> cool. Okay. Hold on, I want this chest. Oh, All right. No risk. I'll take it. <laughs> um most likely I'll probably need to face what Oh, oh shit, I meant the other way. You know what this reminds me of? Chat, you're gonna get so upset at me when I say this. Once I make my move, you'll be free to check the king. No, Ron, no! Stop, what is it? <laughs> he wants to sacrifice himself. No, Ron, you can't! <laughs> Solving a problem by brute force doesn't prove your intelligence. The what? side room. Don't let me repeat myself. Oh. Oh, they don't want me to. Oh, I want to just. I want to solve it though. Oh, I wanted to solve the puzzle. He. He got mad at me. I thought I had to solve it first. Ooh. Oh my God, a pool table, poggers. All right. Let's go up here. 
All right, let's use adventure and let's see how he how he plays. I don't know if he works with this this team comp because he kind of replaced Kafka, who is very much my DPS. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. I'm on guard. I have the mark. All right, what does he do? Defense. It's on me. Oh, shields. I have two shielders now. Lance ablaze. Lance powered. Hold on, hold on. This team comp, this team comp's not really it. Um, sorry, Stel. Because I want to use adventure in for this part of the story, so... Oh, shit, chest. Oh, you don't see me. Is there a chest over here? All right, gonna go here. Oh wow, I, I went the right path. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Huh? Mm. But are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? What if they're robins? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are no eagles in the five families. He's so tired. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? It seems all the... All it takes for this door to open is returning the, them to the original position. Okay. Oh. Oh wait, wait, those two, and then this one needs to be facing the other way. This way. Okay. <sighs> Just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. A truly miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should <laughs> offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Really? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Can't you tell? Oh, it's funny, dude. Rishi is so funny. I love him. He's such a little shit. Ooh. Oh, impressive. Oh, this isn't the White Knight trailer. So March was like Sunday's here. virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. If you want yeah, to, let him right. nitpick. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. Hmm. Ooh, puzzle. Okay, let's do, let's do some puzzles. TikTok. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. And that was easy. Are these puzzles supposed to be like hard or something? I'm sure there's gonna be a chest right here. You, you guys, I know how these game devs work. Like, I just, I know exactly where they're gonna put chests. I'm like a chest magnet, you know? <sighs> uh. 
da 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 blah blah blah. Alright. This area is kind of cool. I'll, I'll do that later. Okay. Hold on. Huh? <laughs> what's wrong? Yeah, Are what's we wrong? The wrong way? No, but this door is locked. My friend, did you really make an appointment with him? <laughs> it's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. That's if a little I'm pretentious. Wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall, or this place will be our prison. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. I love escape rooms. Get serious. I've no time for game. <laughs> wow. Now that's an enormous sandpit. <laughs> I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Which you won't if you keep giving us 200k. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? He has referred to ratio of like course. four different times, like in different ways. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. <laughs> he called him ratio, he called him Fine. doc, he called him doctor. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? Alright, we're gonna go up here. Puzzle. Gotta do this. Oh, I love those puzzles. I love jigsaw puzzles. Anything here? Okay. Found it. This is it. All right, we're gonna have to do a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Sunday. This feels a little extra. Just saying. <laughs> oh, another chest. Oh my god, there's so many chests though. Oh, those things are for Hanu, right? <sighs> oh, another puzzle. Of course, find scattered jigsaw pieces. Of course, they can't just let us have things. Oh, that's one. And then we're gonna... Go on this side because we haven't been up here before. Who are these people on the wall? Yeah, okay. And you guys want to tell me he's not a Siscon? You, you, you guys, you guys want to tell me he's Sunday's not as like a, like a little bit of a Siscon? Like, come on. I don't blame him, no! Oh, I want that chest over there. Alright, let's fight these guys. Oh. Oh, they start with shields with Aventurant? Eternal. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. 
Let him ult. Well, he has to get his ult. Beneath the waters. Three hundred K. Nice. Say bye to breathing. Relax. Watch your head. Oh! Destiny is Why did that happen? Good times never last. Why did that happen? Time to say bye. Boom. A reward with no risk? I'll take it. I'll take it. Let me up. Oh, do we have to do Hanu stuff? I feel like we have to do Hanu stuff. Or can I ignore Hanu stuff? Precious chest. Fortune follows luck. Just like it always does. <sighs> okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't need anything good. Huh. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. Oh? If I were you, I would shut my mouth. <laughs> It's wise to remain silent when you should. Damn ratio. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. He's so sassy. All right. No, everyone is so mean to him. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. I mean, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Put oh, it look. in, put the it in. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? What's next? Oh, we, oh, we're gonna enter through there? <laughs> oh, good heavens. D did I drink? A am I still in a dream? Indeed. This is like size kink to a different level. Oh, doctor, you're huge. It's me! Down here! In oh, doctor, you're huge. Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. <sighs> He's so tired. Oh, fine. I was just kidding. No, you weren't. No, you weren't, Aventurin. Let's find a way to open the door. Huh? He's just trying to walk into a wall. Huh. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, the NPC bug. For real, for real. Oh, chest. You don't see me, 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 you don't see me. I'm not real, I'm not real, I'm not real. You can't hurt me, I'm not real. Uh, don't see me, you don't see me. Is there more chests here? Yes. Yeah, give me my jades. <laughs> ha 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 ha.
they're asserting dominance to one another. We love that. We love asserting dominance. That's great. Oh, th isn't this the door in Acheron's trailer? Right? That's this door. <laughs> They're just all T-posing near each other. Funny. Um. Oh, there's a jigsaw puzzle over there. I want to do that. How do they keep getting stuck in places? Hello, I need a five-star review. Inferno boots. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm getting distracted with building, or uh, with us, uh, whatever it's called. Okay. It's like, why is it Hello. wet? Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an Oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. Happy to be of service. Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Based. I am an Oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base mo model. Happy to be of service. Generating guide. Please wait patient. That kind of slapped. Pay. <laughs> Tell me about the tour. You seriously are the word. I'm going to kick it. Found the nearest check in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! After screaming, the soldier collapsed. Huh? He even have a time to earn a five star rating from you. What's up with that? And now the family's toys are trying to frame me. I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. I saw nothing. I saw nothing. Damn. Oh, capsule machine. Oh, there's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. Oh my god. Oh wow. So... I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> Sunday, our short king. Our short king, Sunday. Our insecure short king. <laughs> He's just a little, he's like a little shy, you know? We can't, we can't blame him for that. I think it's behind here. Oh, 
Oh, there's a chest there. Oh, they're so annoying. Hold on, we have to kill these. May as well kill them all. May as well kill them all. Some value, I suppose. Exactly. Um. Destiny. Ill fate descend. Hedge your bets. Whoops. Uh, uh. Stand still. All right, let's see his ult. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Ooh. Say bye to breathing. His gamba. Oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. Not the flicking, bro. Not the flicking. I just feel... I just feel like there's a lot of words. There's a lot of words that are innuendos that that he says specifically. Oh my god, the big bird. Why is it wet? Investigate. <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty too. Doc! I'll need your brain power again. Come on, Doc. There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. He talks to us like a baby. And we'll be back in a minute. <sighs> Finally, a moment of peace. Can we see a venture in here? Oh, no, they didn't want to, like, scale out, like, a little mini version of him. It's, like, over here. <clears throat> you got story rate sheet. I think my rat man would be better than this, this rat man. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> Get booked! There's more to life. Eternal. Every petal all will, will be, be swept, swept away, away by, by the wind. wind. Memories are ever changing. Why do they always take away my DPS? Beneath the water, it's like cough by me. I'm asking questions. Answer me. Zero points. Okay. What do you want to know? Ill fate is dead. Sexy. Your answers. We'll do. We'll just kill this one. Kill that one. Uh -huh. Easy. That's it. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. You don't see me, 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 you don't see me. Yep, you didn't see me. Easy clap. He's so stealthy, guys. Uh, Dr. Rachel is actually a rogue. Rogue build. Uh, inquisitive rogue. Actually, he's wizard coded. Just place it here. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, I love animation sequences. All right, where do we need to get up there? Um, easy. Ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Okay. Is there anything over there? Oh, Ratio, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just a pinch. 
If that is your wish, I will do so without a moment's hesitation. Rishi was so mean to Aventurian. He, he's so mean. Huh, all done. Piece of cake. Wait, wait, where does this one go? Oh, I don't think I want to go here. We gotta get to the end of the story, you know? Before we before we explore more. Yeah, let's go back. I just feel like this is such an inefficient way to travel. It's just like really um motion sickness inducing. And the joyous tour of Toy City has come to an end. Makes me feel sad. No, it doesn't. Oh, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. I like that Rasha just doesn't respond. Alright, let's go back. Is he already at the door? Does anyone want to wait for us? Come on, Ratio, be nice. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. I feel like Are you prepared? Like 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 actual like in actuality, you guys. Adventurin hasn't been that bad. Like I feel like he's been relatively tame, especially to Ratio. So like I feel like Ratio's disdain is a little unwarranted right now. Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Benefit Looks or like fear. Sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor, traitor. hiding inside the family. Mm. Uh -huh. um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? I don't think Akron did it. <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky, <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, rat. why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. Yeah, Akron feels like the red herring. Like I feel like she plays we'll a really see. big point in the story, but Even not Robin's this point. Death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and hey. create the grandest Aventrin. death. Maybe you shouldn't be talking about your grand scheme um, right outside the door in which Sunday is waiting. Uh, just a thought. Just a thought. Uh, you could you, you could take it into consideration. You don't have to agree with me, but, but mayhaps not reveal your plans before, you know. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well, <laughs> you can't win if you don't play. Right. I mean, that's true. Ah, the charming audacity. 
To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. All or nothing. All right. Hey, Sunday. Ooh. Let me rob you real quick. Oh, sorry, Rob. <laughs> Robin, uh, too, too soon, sorry. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. I love his voice. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. Oh? I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help. Yes? Oh my god, it's gonna threaten ratio Certainly. to see Aventurin's like response. You ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. Uh-huh. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, he has a little three you face. You stole wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person, and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be, witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. I, I kind of love his stupid well. little three face. Am I making you anxious? Wait, what's on the table? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. You weren't mistaken, for depravity is creeping in around you. There's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penicone. That's it's weird. It's disheartening. That she didn't have a voice. She can't sing anymore. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, among us. but I know you hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a You know what I kind of realized? Sunday has a lot of, um, what kind of gives me nihility vibes. Does this not... Is this not giving Nihility? Like, I'm, I'm getting... I'm getting Nihility aesthetic from him. I don't know, like, this looks like the Nihility symbol. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm on your side. No, you're not. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so... Selfless and generous. I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Well, naturally, huh. you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody. The bag of gift money and... And... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that's his voice sounds different here. Preservation emanator, granting significant power, and every liquidation specialist holds. I don't know. His his voice is different here. Yeah, like Robin's. Why is it different here? For an object so precious. It probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to Sunday. light. Sunday. 
Mr. Aventurine, when you're out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight, and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. Okay. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. His voice sounds so weird here. Sure. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. Oh? The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? Oh god, things got intense. Where's his three face? Oh, triple faced soul. What? They sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron. Um. So that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Huh? <sighs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. Um. Um. And if I refuse to answer? That was kind of cool. That was, that was kind of cool. You can try. And we'll see if the harmony rejects you. Yeah, it's basically truth serum. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Oh! Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Is the cornerstone in the room right now? It's the freaking meme! It's- it's that freaking meme right now! <laughs> is, is the enemy in the room with us right now? <laughs> yes. Oh shit! Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Oh? Why is that relevant? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read and tamper with or manipulate one's own or another's mind? Holy shit. No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Oh my god, now we're going to therapy? Wait, I just noticed something about Sunday. Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Wait, I want them to go back on Am Sunday's face. No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <sighs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? Oh shit. Oh shit, this is so intense. I don't know. Interesting. Now, the final question. Huh? Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box. Hmm. <laughs> of course. 
Okay, Looks I know like he has piercings. An he has his his little his little his little wing has a piercing. Sorry, I just really wanted to point that out. But this is I love this. This is so intense. Like literally edge of the seat, like kind of intense. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Oh, he is. Look at him. Oh, I love Sunday. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god. Adventure's like the little twink about to get like double teamed, right? What? Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> oh, it's both of them. System hours ago, do light pavilion. We can't just stop there. Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? I, guys, I kind of love Sunday. What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I kind of love Sunday Villain Arc. Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. I wonder if Topaz You'll is going to show up. Speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone. Which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. <laughs> Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique. He said go to and therapy! Only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Quips are so funny. <laughs> I appreciate it. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. Oh, is that not his? I don't know the color of a Ventrine. I'm going to be real. The Golden Stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. Is it Topaz? This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stonehearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones. 
granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is ah, thank also you, ratio. known as Topaz. Wait, why does he have Topazes? Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. So, do you wish to confront Bro, Topaz, him? come get your stone back. Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. Oh, the he made a deal with... Okay, yeah. somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. I see. I this bag. I'm so confused. Mixing a cornerstone, more precious than life itself, with a bunch of worthless jewels, disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated, is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. But this feels too easy. Trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learned doctor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. I just, this feels too, As too convenient. Woman. Like for adventure in and like for Sunday. I hope he retreats in humiliation. Oh my God, Sunday. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. Ratio, <sighs> you wretch. Oh my god, what is this angsty <laughs> yaoi? Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. What? <sighs> You might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. Huh? What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> Is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Holy shit. Dude, Should Sunday's succeed, giving such villain you energy. You will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. Oh shit. <sighs> Oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your Why findings 17? with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Sunday's giving me like evil cleric Jeez, energy. Hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth. That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with a stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. And that's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. 
You are free. I will wait here for your good news. Bruh. This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. I kind of feel bad for Aventurian. <sighs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurian? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. But I also feel like Sunday is way too confident. By this is going to get turned on him. Before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... You do what? Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Oh, we're back on like little adventuring. Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. But I can't live without you, little brother. Oh, promise me. Not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? Exactly. Tell me. Oh, this is so pretty. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... This is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. Aww. <sighs> I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. <sighs> There'll be no next time. Family. It is important. But not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what Mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. This music is right. so good. <sighs> mm. Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Okay, we'll swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, if Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. Damn. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath until the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so... That we were born in this world of death?
Oh, we're going back to Trailblazer after all of that? Dude. Um, excuse me. Hi, Allie. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm. That was That's so I intense. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels. Also, oh, this voice sounds so familiar. In real time, this data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Is it possible to access these records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. Oh, is it time we for us to deal with access if there's a problem? Um, with Gallagher. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. Why does Himeko's voice sound so sure deep? Because you can't trust no anyone here. About Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Um, by pretending to kill herself, uh, is there and then, any other way to you know. Enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? The Garden of Recollection, Stellaron Hunters. The keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Yeah, Ms. because Firefly, Firefly is Sam! The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. <sighs> who are you guys? Uh, who are you? The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Fox, get moving! Uh, uh, armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? Where, where's, where's your boss? Can I speak to your manager? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. <laughs> help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. Hey, check it out. That place. Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? The IPC will be conducting oh my God. operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated Is Topaz zones. in the room right now? Will compulsory measures will be enforced. <gasps> I'll request a beating for you lot. <laughs> You've been told not to drink during work hours. <laughs> Take him back to the hotel room. Top ass is here. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. <laughs> oh, Topaz. I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. Hey, girly pop. <sighs> oh. Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Adventurine has told me a lot. Oh my god. Huh? Okay, so for those who don't know, 
I'm very good friends with the voice actor of Topaz, Sam, Sam Slade. Guys, go check her out. Um, and now all I can hear is Sam, like in in Topaz's voice instead of instead of Topaz. Hey, you! Time to check your books. <laughs> Do as they ask, and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. <sighs> yes, all right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. I think it's popular anywhere, the Queen. is a mere facade. The former Frontier Prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC stuff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. Damn. No wonder a Venturine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family are you not i feel like they talk about this stuff out in the open a little too often the dreamscape the ipc always treats its partners well thank you miss topaz they are flirting we're on our way to the hounds to verify some intel perhaps you've had dealings with them they topaz is fully ignoring us now um, Stell and March are not part of this conversation. These two are making intense eye contact with one another, and they're trying to kiss. <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Hey, Topaz. What's up, queen? How does it feel to be in business with a Venturine? I bet you're not used to it. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. He's that good, huh? It works only when all parties' interests are aligned. <laughs> of course. It's business, after all. What's important is- Stop staring at Topaz and makes her uncomfortable. She's not talking about me. She's talking about As you guys. Cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is also, ask you guys, to keep do we, for more details. Do we know how much longer the quest is? Do, do you think do you think this would be better as a as a two-parter or as like a like a like one extended part because i feel like we're not even halfway y you know two more hours i don't know if i can stay up for two more hours YouTube and Twitter's full of spoilers. No! Isn't it midnight? I mean, it's almost one. Three parts? No, I need to finish it in two parts because I can play on Thursday. But, like, like we'll have to finish it on Thursday. So I, I, I don't know how much time like we've gone through. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What, what do you want? Oh, wait, we've, we've we seen this guy before. And we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. We got the right so one this that's time. It. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Oh yeah. Hey, remember me? <laughs> uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. We're not afraid of you this time. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. 
Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? March, it's... It's not my fault. I've got business with your captain. Where is he? I need you to pull some records for me. It's official business. When's our lunch break? Mmm, hungry. But much. Um, it's not my fault I keep beating people up. I'm just I'm so hungry. I'm just a little baby. I'm so, I'm so hungry, Uwu. Oh, sheesh, why do you keep asking me that? We're in the middle of investigating a murder case for the family. <laughs> May we speak to your captain about it? <laughs> oh, uh, well... But I'm hungry, March. Hey, the security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, that, that, that's right. Uh, that, that, that's right. To report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Oh, why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher, the one she mentioned, right? Head to Dream's Edge. To okay, we'll go meet Gallagher. I think March has been particularly not annoying this this time theory. around. I'm gonna be real. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Uh, Gallagher. Uh, Gallagher. Uh, where could he be? Um, so so right now, uh when Numi plays this quest, um Constructing dreams. Moan, 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 moan at the sight of Gallagher. That yeah, that that's what would be happening right now. Dreams are supposed to be... <sighs> Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. The the gray haired one. I mean, yeah, we're a little popular. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? Um this ain't it, Chief. You've got the wrong gal. <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. That's right. It's a me, Clocky. That's right. It's a me, Clocky. Uh, you think you look alike? How about a clockwork trick? Wait, are you for real? Yeah. Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> uh. I'm not letting you get by this time. What did we do to him? I don't even remember. Well, I have to get on my knees and beg you. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? I, I didn't do anything. Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, oh, we traumatized him. This Mr. Gallagher. Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name, even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here. It was the security officer who dispatched us. That's all I can divulge. Hmm. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation... And who's gonna stop no us? There's three through. of us and one of you. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? We're really sorry for troubling you. Why does Himiko sound so different? Let's think of another way. Another way. Uh, that's it. Did March, say don't say this in that? front of him. Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind. March, March. Did he perform it again? That uh, clocky magic. Just what I've been waiting for. But I can't abuse it for evil doing. We're not doing evil stuff, so. Please.
She's so cute. Dude, she's so cute. She's so cute. That's that's literally um that's yeah. Of course, anything for you, anything for you, baby girl, anything. <sighs> they know the way to my heart. Sorry, no can do. The box. Yeah, Everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. Activate clockwork. Um. Well, 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 it's time to make him upset again. <laughs> you, you lot insist on doing this. Sorry, but human lives and the family's reputation are at stake. It is imperative we know everything about the case. No, I meant to say... Never let you go. Do I really have to get down on my knees and grovel? If you don't mind. <sighs> I, I didn't think you were the type who would kick someone when they were down. <laughs> I am. <laughs> if that's the case, I'll just have to acquiesce to everyone's wishes. Lower my esteemed head and plead with everyone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, grovel. Looks like he still doesn't want to divulge anything. The principal bloodhound family member is mirrored, mired, mirrored in endless sorrow. As compensation, you have to think of a way to comfort him. All right, we'll make him happy. <sighs> Let me see what time it is now. Whoa, it's this time already. What time to clock out? And no one's gonna stop me. The highly principled member of the Bloodhound family laughed heartily and left the scene. Uh, what? Huh? <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. Don't worry, March. I'll never use it on you. <sighs> At least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. All right, Gallagher. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Why does no one know his name is Judging Gallagher? Your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. Yeah. I had an encounter with this lady in the Golden Hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there, too. Firefly! I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. That's exactly what the family has ordered us to investigate. We are sorry, too. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it, in the hopes of getting justice for her. The Nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Marge, you can't just ask people what's wrong with the family. Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. But you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure, come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Let's go elsewhere. At this moment on the other side. We keep going to the other side. Even after that 
chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Okay, so like... Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. I literally was like, okay, after we finish with Gallagher, I'm gonna get off for the night and we're gonna finish on Thursday. But now that I see you well in Akron, I, 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 we, we can't just stop there. The family itself is a huge, perfect building, like a living idol. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Interesting analogy. Perhaps I love that these two are pairing up. Coney's beautiful dream has persisted for so long but the human body has its limits and so does the divines that doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make just pointing out the facts mr yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than i do mr yang why do you say that miss acheron the beautiful dream is crumbling but not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. That's collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. Oh? The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. Oh? As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death blooms as the inevitable conclusion. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. In the end, and the dreams crumble. that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. She says this as her hand rests gently on the hilt of the sword, and then quickly lets go in the blink of an eye. Hmm. <sighs> Don't mind me, it's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Take your time. <laughs> that should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacone. Ask away. <laughs> Regarding the moment of daybreak, okay, well, I guess we could go through everything. The moment of daybreak. Thank you, guys. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation, that's where they make the dish soap, is located. At the Dawn Factory. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams, then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. It's a far cry from luxury. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. Who is she talking about? It's not Black Swan. This doesn't fit Black Swan's description at all. To indulge in beautiful dreams, her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments that she woven she had woven with her own hands. I don't think it's Firefly. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Gilded hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city, 
the economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa Papeshi. family are there to keep it running, sending blood that is made from money everywhere on Panacone. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault's door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way. Oh, shit. Blue hour. I hear the blue hour is very romantic. Oh. Do you have any tales to share? Oh, do you dance with Black Swan there? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Eventide anchored along the Sea of Dreams where soft music and dancing persists endlessly every night. There's no way. There's no way. There is absolutely no way. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long departed lover to return, waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desire oh. wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Erm. Um. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed yeah, like um. forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism, the moment of I dusk. love consumerism. I love My buying stuff. Have been there too. A little too much. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price, and everything can be bought or sold. Perfect merch. Hey guys, buy my merch if you made it this far. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there, who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid, under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. That's everything. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape Cut. of the planet of the Stipe. The fact that there's just Robin imagery the everywhere. Of night rise and fall when time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But oh. if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? Why is it red? <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's <gasps> Are we getting Honkai lore? Share a story with you. Can we Honkai lore? There was a man from my homeland who at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant. 
a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. I just think it's very convenient that they're showing Robin imagery during this. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. And yet, you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his Aww, heart. well. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea, and after that, countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar, yet different, worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike uh -huh. but don't. Uh huh. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told. Got the trading lore. It overlaps with my past. And Aww. within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life. Alone. <sighs> I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. She killed Kevin. I don't mind. So long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous. Can you talk about Kiana, please, respectfully? I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. Birds are born with no shackles. But in a distant past, their no ancestors could only shackles. gaze at the sky in envy. Sorry. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling. All because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun? Oh no. But darkness. Ix. Oh, Acheron! Then why, exactly, do we even walk towards the light? Oh, oh, hey, Black Swan, we're back. Dude, I love this narrative shifts. <sighs> All of these narrative shifts are so good. Long 
time no see. Having fun on Pentacony? Acheron. Oh, is this Boot Hill? This voice. It's not Constance. Is it Booty Hill? Be her companion. Though I don't know exactly what you are. Oh my god, he's a southern accent. To, my bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Sus. I kind of love his voice. I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, yeah. Who the heck are you? <laughs> Wait, I love him. I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Who the heck are you? <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger, yes? I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. I, guys, I'm like, Go I'm pleasantly ahead. surprised by Boot Hill. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? Dude, last one got her black back blown out and she like just can't get over it. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Guys, he's an ally. Booty Hill's an ally. He knows what they are! Oh my god, he knows what they are! Oh, well. <laughs> it's high noon. I'll be on Panacone soon. Uh, memo Keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's White Oak and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. Wow, he changed tones real that quick. Lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron uh -huh. is an emanator who should not exist. Oh? <laughs> oh my god, this is getting so good! This you is getting so good! Pale. Or is that also part of your act? <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. Okay, so he was double double crossing. So the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them. Because I'm the manager of this task. Oh my god. Ratio pulling out the... Can I talk to your manager? I am the manager. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? My conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Panacone. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. 
Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. Oh my god, Ratio, be nice. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. That's true. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? Guys, I feel That's bad for adventuring. True, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed. I feel like he's been the most game. developed character right now, um, Insane. at least in 2.1. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What is that? An enema? What's this? Medical advice? Oh. How does he do that? <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> Aw, Venturin! You solve the case without giving a single clue. How <laughs> typical of you. Wing-headed scoundrel. <laughs> Wing-headed scoundrel. By the way, you're all on edge about that stowaway. <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Okay. I think this is a good place to pause for now I, I think I think this is a good place to pause for for tonight and we will continue the story yeah the effects really cool and we will continue the story on Thursday but but be excited because tomorrow Wednesday 6 p.m. EST I'm gonna be pulling for Acheron with Acheron's voice actor, Allegra Clark. Allegra Clark. So, so look forward to that. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.